to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Well, they did it, James. What? Two articles of impeachment. Oh, that's a lovely holiday song. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, obstruction of Congress and abuse of power as the two things. I don't even know what that, that means, really. Yeah. I mean, did you think that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We Do we know what we're talking about? Eh. Maybe. You know what I mean? Are there smarter people? Sure. No. Are there cooler people? No. No. Uh, <laughs> are there cooler people to discuss impeachment? No. I don't think so. No. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Did you not think that they were going to? You know, I, I a part of me was just like, come on, man. You know. This can't be real. Yeah. And it's like, did you not learn anything from the, the Russia thing? Because now... Now that you've I gone think on this they road. did learn, and what they learned was we have to follow through. I guess we have to tr- we have to try and make this work because we lost our ass. So they they're saying there's a full house vote set for next week. I can tell you which way that's going to go. Okay, Democrats on the house, so mm. that's gonna. Oh, well, we're gonna move to impeach. Sure. The Republicans will probably say, "Hey, fuck off." Right. And then uh, after that. There'll be a Senate hearing, which will be mm-hmm. another waste of time because Republicans own the Senate. Right. And there we are. And it'll be a big, dumb, crazy Hullabaloo. roller coaster <clears throat> merry-go-round. I, I find it odd. The jobs report comes out Friday. It is the strongest in the history of our country. Uh, Jim Cramer, who I love, I love Cramer. Sure. Um, doesn't really pick a side politically. I don't know which way. No, he, he goes l- for the money, right? That's it. Yeah, Just yeah, money. yeah, yeah. Guys, all about money. Same yeah. here. Listen, I, I really don't. You know, gotcha. Let's get that money, son. I got you, bro. <clears throat> and he went all in on Friday and just said, "Look, I don't even give a shit what you think of this, dude. These are the best numbers that we've ever seen in our entire life." And he goes, "I'm from a butter and guns era, where that's about all we had in our house was butter and guns." And I was like. <laughs> Is right. that a thing that people say? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. But apparently in his house, they had butter. They had butter. And they had guns. And they had guns. <laughs> at our house, we had pickles and margarita mix. Ah, all right. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's very, it's a different upbringing. Sure, you know? sure, sure. We'd craft macaroni and cheese uh-huh. and... Uh, and a sausage. Cut up one, hot dogs. One sausage. Yeah. yeah. A soul sausage for the Just family. Un- not wrapped, not in any bags, nope. just sitting right on the shelf yeah. of the fridge. <clears throat> That'd be a great holiday movie, wouldn't it? A sausage for the family. Ugh. It's Santa. A lone sausage. <clears throat> Santa comes down the chimney and just leaves one long sausage um, unpacked on the table. <laughs> it is sausage, right, that we're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah He's yeah. not putting his dick up on that table, James. Or dropping a... <clears throat> A hot and long. No. Okay. No, he's not doing that. That okay. would be a rude Christmas morning wake up, wouldn't it? Oh, it's the Santa cam. Holy shit. That's what I tell Jax what? is going to happen if he doesn't listen. Santa, our son, our five-year-old, that Santa's going to drop a hot yeah, and long? Yeah, because Cole, he's not really sure even what that is. He's like, oh, is that a toy? So if I go, <laughs> if Santa, Santa's going to come down, poop on the floor and leave. He'll get that. Yeah, you know what I mean? He'll understand that He'll message. He'll understand that message yeah. of like, don't act up, brother. You know what's weird is in after we die, uh, the next generation, like coal, and the, coal won't even exist. Yeah, like the thing of, of being like, there's, they'll be coal. They're like, <clears throat> what is that? Yeah, what is that? Really don't know what that is. It's like, oh, a dinosaur bone? What? Yeah. Huh? What is that? Huh? Um, no, but with this, this uh, article's of impeachment thing, I just, I just don't care. Uh, I, w- I would be more into caring. I think because th- I was trying to think back today because they broke in again to the the thing and Nancy Pelosi did the thing with Maxine Waters mm-hmm. and that whole just weird collection of like nonsense uh, mummies. Maybe I guess you would call them. They're all you know 
80 virtually. Okay. Just kind of up there, just shivering. Just, well, we need this. Well, we've done our due justice. And this is what we've come up with. And we've got to impeach. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> no, you, you got no candidate. You had no choice. So they said they had no choice but to do this. Mm-hmm. I, I, they're, and they're right on that because they really did. There yeah. is no candidate. So, yeah, this was your probably your last gasp at, at all of this shit. Yeah. I think um, they were waiting to see who maybe was like a crazy front runner, just killing none. it. Really speaking to both sides, and when they found that there wasn't, they're like, "None, yeah, yeah, yeah." So this is like I can tell you how this is going to shake out, right? Full House vote next week. It's going to be all Democrats say yes. This will go to the Senate. They'll say no, and then you're fucked after that, right? You're absolutely fucked. And then America will look at this as another waste of money and a taxpayer hoax. And you know the thing with Clinton, <clears throat> it was sexy at least. You know, um, he was just, getting his dick sucked. Right. There was an intern and involved. There was it was come on yeah, a dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is this Oof. isn't even sexy. There's nothing like no sweet. It's him in Ukraine. It's confusing. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah. Nobody really knows exactly what's going on. They just hear these buzzwords. <clears throat> if he was blasting loads on tits in the in the White House, poof, I'd be congratulations. That, that would really grab America's attention. Sure. Really grab him by the pussies sure. out there, you sure. know? Sure. But instead, we got a bunch of a nothing, him on a phone call, just bullshitting with a, a, some dude who's a comedian, by the way. You know the president of Ukraine's a comedian? Yeah. I mean, I'm mean, a real person. So it's two non-politicians. <clears throat> Chatting about, right? Just, just rapping about it. Uh, Yeah. I mean, yeah. Nonsense. Just rapping. They don't really know what, what the heck is going on. They're just talking. All of it's nonsense. They're I, talking. Look, I, I, I could just sum up what's going to happen and just save you the time in the next month of your lives by just saying what I what I just did. That's it. Mm-hmm. There's really no no need for me to pontificate on it anymore. No, no, no. Um, that's, that's exactly what's going to go down, and then you're stuck. And then the economy's got a raging boner right now, um, which is rad. Everybody's right. working. Um, the economy's <clears> blowing <throat> loads on tits, right? It is. Now, that's exciting to me, where it's just like, sure. all right. F yeah, dude. Right. Everybody's working. Right. Um, I like that. Yeah, that's what we want to hear. Yeah. That's what we care about. Yeah. Um, your watch is going to be ready. Fuck you. Is it really? When? Tomorrow. <clears throat> I always feel good when I do a wifely thing. I, this, this watch. Um, right. I never learned to do a walk in or else I would do it then. It's it, good. A walk-in makes me a little bit uncomfortable. There's a couple. Uh, it was always Im- seen as is hokey when I was yeah. in stand up. So it was just like I never yeah. learned it. Uh, a Jack Nicholson and a walk-in. I get very uncomfortable when someone mm. like starts to do it. Yeah. So I'm glad you. Your Cole Hauser, like random ones that well, you don't well, ever well, hear. Well, yeah. What are we? Well, arrested that for I what, can babe? get for, down with for, it. for being awesome. Like for a Donald Trump awesome, impression. Babe? I get very uncomfortable. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm I'm glad that you Those are too easy. don't know it and that you wouldn't do it. That's why I like doing weird ones at karaoke because Yeah, cuz it's not the like normal. It's always shocking to people where mm-hmm. they're like, "Oh, fuck. I didn't yeah. know you could do that." Um <clears throat> yeah, I don't do the normal like, "Oh, here we go with, you know, Black Old Sun or something." <laughs> Does anybody do that? I mean, I would. Do people? I have no idea. It just no. was the, it was literally the first thing. I'm like, oh, oh. I'll tell you what I, I used to hear all the time. Because <laughs> we would go, and I think I told you this story when we were in Columbus. We used to go to this place, and, and my friends would always have me enter this karaoke contest, and I would win every time. And they got like 300 bucks, would pay for the tab, and we just get fucked up for free, essentially, right? Never sure. did anything with the money. Sure. I only got beat one night, and it was a, a chick who did a Janis Joplin. Mm. And I feel like. In L.A. and New York, I've seen good Joplins before where I think that's like a girl thing where I'm like, oh, fuck. Right. If you can tear down a Joplin, yeah, you're good. Yeah, then you get people into it. Yeah. If you're doing an engaging artist like that, people get like, right, Prince. Well, the voice is Joplin, different, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I worked, I used to work um, porn star karaoke at Sardo's. Do you know this place? No. In Burbank? You never went to Kurt? <clears throat> Karaoke at Sardo's? How do I not know this? I don't know. It was a hot spot for karaoke. And so all the porn stars? stars, Yeah, so all Mm. the porn stars from what's right next to Burbank where they all are, like Irvine? No, Irvine is way south. What is it? 
uh, you know what I'm saying. You know where all the porn stars are? Van Nuys. Van Nuys. Yeah. So they come from Van Nuys. They'd all come in these like limos. They were ridiculous. And they would, it would be all full of porn stars. Yeah. For karaoke. And it was a hot spot. A little bit dirty. But I'm sure it was disgusting. It was a little bit disgusting. <clears throat> the way they roll around is awesome with the bosses. I still yes. do that. Yeah, Gre- definitely. Greg so Lansky there's like an that. ugly, theirs were more like older, ugly dudes. Mm hmm. Um, that were kind of like in charge of each little group right, right, that right. they had, but Greg is not that. No, he's cool. He's, he's married, like cool. and he runs it with his wife. His wife was there. Okay. And uh, we we went out to dinner with all of them afterwards. The thing about porn stars is this: here's the real shit, and you could speak on it after me. Sure. Because um, the man speaks first. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll see you later. <laughs> um. Up close, they are very disappointing. Um, not all of them, but they are. Did you find a banger in the are, group where you were like, "Hey, they are tragic." Do you know what I mean? It's yes. just as soon yeah. as they walk in, there's this air of tragedy. Uh, they're either super wasted, uh-huh. super fucked up on some kind of drug. Some old fat dude is yeah. there with them, escorting them. It's as soon as they walk in. Yeah, it's, uh, you know. It's just a little bit tragic, and you know they're going to, they they party, and then it's their one night. I know when I worked there, it was their one night to, like, just boss everybody around, and they loved it, and it complaining about <clears throat> shit. Like, where is my... Yeah. They get very, um, they're very taken care of. Yeah. If you're a porn star, like, people cater to you most of your you should like career right yeah. you need to be comfortable especially now oh yeah they need to make sure that you're totally fine you're totally taken care of so they're they're almost worse than like an a-list diva so, actress so. <laughs> because they came from lord knows what yeah to some kind of weird fame and cater i, I don't you know you know we've had a bunch of them on drinking bros obviously yeah it's the classiest show on the planet and You've had ones that like ah. have moved beyond the porn part of it, though. Kind of learned what they did and make their money other ways now, or no? Tiana Trump was she still in? Oh yeah. Okay. Not only is she in, she's one of the highest paid in the game. Oh, okay. Like, she's she's uh she's under contract. Oh, okay. So like she's one of the highest paid in the game. I forget who the other one we had on was, but anyways, when she showed up, it, it was I was I didn't recognize her. I'd, I'd seen her porn, right? So I could okay. talk about it, obviously. Right, right. Um, purely sure, for, sure, for uh, sure. scientific research. You just saw a little, research. Just a little snippet, right? Nice research is just all little, it was. Uh, just quick, you see her face. <clears throat> okay, okay, I know. Right? Simple research. Shapes. Look away. Yep. And Click away from it. Yeah. Uh, she shows up, and I didn't recognize her. And I was like, oh, man, that is a lot of makeup you must wear to look like that. That's, yeah. what, that's, my, that's what I've typically found with them. Like there wasn't one yet where I saw in real life where I was just like, oh, whoa, dang, whoa, boy, oh, here yeah, boy, here we go. It takes a lot of uh, airbrush makeup to uh, get that train going. Sure, you know <laughs> what? And literally a train sometimes. Yeah, is being Some run them on are, them. Uh, yeah, with uh, the caboose. Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I'm not really into the. Uh, Super produced porn, anyways. So I don't really know. I'm sure if I saw like porn stars that I like, I'd be like, yeah, you look the exact same as the grainy amateur uh, porn I saw you in. Sure, sure. You know what I'm saying? I don't like when they're all dolled up and everything's perfect and lighting's perfect and everything. Because I, I know how long that takes to get to, to light and to and light and, and do it and else, sitting yeah. around and da 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 and yeah, lots of people watching and um. There was one who canceled on us. Did I tell you this? Because she did a double anal scene the night before, and she was like, "I am just too sore. I cannot sit in a chair and do Is your that show." That the one that was supposed to fly? No. Oh, okay. It was another one, and she did she did rebook, but uh, it was like, was she? Did she end up being on? Yeah, she ended up being on the show, but the first time Which she canceled was, was a double it? anal. I don't remember their names. <clears throat> I'm not good with porn star names. I know like two. That's about it. You know everyone. Was it Jared's? No. Oh. Come on. Man. Just wondering. His wife. 
No, his, uh, sorry, his my wife fake was, wife for my, a week. My yeah. wife was doing double anal last night, and uh, she none just of can't this is make weird. it. None of this is weird. He doesn't talk like that, but you could do it in his normal voice. Like, not that's not a weird statement uh, that Jared would make. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, I think it's fine. He would say, "My wife did double anal last double night." Double anal so, last night. She's real sore down yeah. there, so she can't. She's not going to make it on the show. Yeah, normal, normal life. Nope. So, uh, but yeah, this this girl ended up making it. Um, whenever I start my day off, it's pretty typical that I read, you know, a bunch of news. Brag. No, we do fucking seven shows a week, dude. I no, want to know what's going on in the thing. world. I'm just saying brag every time somebody you should. brags. You should. Uh, it's just, I'd like to, to grope my small penis, brag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Brag. <laughs> Dan was talking about his like horrible family. I'm like, brag. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, brag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I read everything across the board. Uh, again, CNN, Drudge Report, MSNBC, fucking USA Today, you name it, right? Across the board to try to get everything going. And they usually have these studies in there that always pop up like two or three times a week. Sometimes they're so dumb that you're like, why did you even bother to study that? <laughs> what are you fucking doing with your life? Mm-hmm. There's a study this morning that came popped up. It was like... Uh, Narcissism declines as we age. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Because you're fucking old, man. Like, no, you just like learn things, you mature, you no, grow up. You look in the mirror when you're old and you're like, oh shit, I'm fucking old. Do you know how narcissism works? I do. Okay. But it means you're the greatest, you look the uh, greatest. No, nope. yep, it's not that. All of it. Okay. It, here's the thing when you're old, I think when you have it, it's hard for you to see like what it really is. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So yeah, brag. I think that's what it is. Brag, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you're not really sure what it is, but anyway, go ahead. No, so they were like, "There's hope for parents with self-absorbed teenagers." Oh well, come Narcissism on. Narcissism declines with age, and there's yes. a turning point when people land their first job. Yes. So Michigan State University did this dumb fucking thing. Of course, that's them. Um, look, <laughs> wasting shit, wasting money. Here's the other thing: they looked at 747 people born between 1923 and 1969. The fuck do they know? In today's world, about narcissism, narcissism's at an all-time high now. Wait, the study was done on them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't understand the control group on that because one I don't of them know how would you have find to somebody be. From 1923. That's what I'm saying. But like, how would you? <clears throat> you need to have someone that's at least an elder millennial in there. Yeah. Again, none. That's how dumb this is. And you know, again, it, this is just getting old. Mm-hmm. You, you're. You lose all your confidence and all your shit. Where you're just like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I'll never forget my buddy's dad at uh. A father-son weekend just broke it down. And I might have said this before, but I'll say it again. I was like, what's the what's the biggest difference in getting old? He was like 61 at the time, 62. And he goes... Dick size, yeah. Well, that. And he goes, uh, dude, girls just stop looking at you. You're invisible. That's untrue. It's not untrue. It depends. Uh, depends, depends on, on who you, you are. Keep up your shit. Come on. He was like, dude, these college girls, they're not throwing me one wink. Yeah. Whatsoever. I'm walking down the street, just old bag of bones. Right. I'm just like, God damn it. And he was right. It's the same yeah, same with girls. Because I walked down the street with them. Every one of them cock checked me. Sure. You know? Right. Meat gaze me. Brag, yeah. Nothing on him. Yeah. Didn't, didn't throw one wink to his fucking dong. Mm-hmm. But me, they were, you know, really sizing me up <laughs> like a haberdasher. Did they pull out their... Uh, take yardstick, measure. Yeah. Everybody carries a yardstick in college. So if you have kids <laughs> that are going to college, yeah, street, yeah. <laughs> get get all. And your, anytime they need if to you measure, have daughters, get them a yardstick because they're going to use it a lot in college. They don't tell you that. Um, they but don't. They, should. they really should prepare them. We're going to have a flat out honest show today across the board. I I want to I want to preface it by saying that. Spoiler alert. Uh, Spoiler alert. Okay. We watched the end of Silicon Valley last night. Yeah. <laughs> Turd. Man, I like that show. Turd pile. Love yeah. that show. Loved then, it. And I mean, look, did they end on brand? I guess. But Lord. No. 
let's fucking. Why do they end in a fucking documentary format? I when you've know. never used that as a framing device in any other episode. I, I don't know what. I, I just, I want to sit down with him. That's my judge. I know. And it just felt, I don't know. Yeah. It felt like it should have ended last season. You know, well, here's the thing. You know when it's going to end. So let, forget it, that it should have maybe ended last season. Right. But it didn't. It ended this season. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you have a whole year to prepare for what your ending's going to be. Right. You know, the network knows all of it. It wasn't like it was canceled. Fuck, they would have let them go on forever if they wanted to. Yeah, they decided to end it, or Mike judged it, or yes. Okay, I, I think mostly the dudes in the show are just getting a million offers to do movies and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? The the lead. High deck. Yeah. Hiddle, hiddle, whatever hiddle, his name hiddle, is, and the the kum, kum jai, whatever. Yeah. Namadikdar. Uh, I don't know his fucking name. Um, I hate him on Twitter too. It's the worst. Um, either way, those guys are getting a, a ton of movie offers. Uh, TJ Miller was that show to me. Yeah, yeah. And then the fact. Spoiler alert! I don't know. I guess we won't say it. But yeah. I oh, didn't the, li- no. It's not a secret. Actually, it was in the press. I knew it before the going into that show that he wouldn't mm-hmm. be on it. Why? I think they didn't it want him on it because f- he walked out of that show and he hated them and he, he said a bunch of shit okay. about him afterwards. So if it was, I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping that it wasn't about his weird one no. me two story. It that was not. It was the, uh, right. okay. So he he walked out of that show and was just like, I'm I'm done with this. What was his deal with it? His deal was this. He thought he would have a bigger role instead of okay. just popping in every you know mm-hmm. fourth scene with something weird. To right. say with a weird beard, and he was just like, "Man, I am perfect. You can't have too much of that." Uh, uh, Thomas Middleditch and Kumal Nanjiani. Yeah, I just want to make sure we just whatever. Middleditch. What did I say? No, it's just that's a. Did interesting I say middle dick? I, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't. But you have all year to prepare for that. I just want to sit down with every show creator and say. What was your th- what was the thought that went through your head when you found out it was ending? I don't understand it. I just don't get it. I am three books away from finishing that St. James series, right? It's going to be over the course of the next five to seven years probably. I know the fucking day, second, everything that, that is going to end in that series. I already know it. I, and I'm not, even, I'm not even finished writing it yet. And I already know the end specifically for everybody who's put time into reading the first two mm-hmm. and the people that are going to read the third next year, I want them to be like, hey, man, does, he, does this guy have a fucking plan or what's going to happen here? Yes, I have a fucking plan. I know exactly the second, the second it ends and the day everything else that this, this guy's life ends in that thing. How do you not know working on something this many years how it should end? Game of Thrones is like that. Maybe they did. They just didn't do a good job. Here's what typically happens in Hollywood, and I'll go ahead and scratch this itch on your beave for you if you want to know. When shows are doing well, there isn't an ending in sight where you're just like, all right, cool, man. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going, and then we'll figure it out. And then all of a sudden, someone can catch. For comedies, it's fine, because you can always have storylines. That's why you see babies and shit like that. They always use you know, pregnancies and babies and marriages and all of these things, Mm -hmm. because it's a nice crutch to get you to the end of a season. Sure. It's just like, oh, so and so had birth, gave birth to a baby, or so and so died, or so and so had a got married. Those mm-hmm. are the big. Those are the three big ones, right? On a show like Lost, which I loved, they didn't know. They had no idea where they were going with it. You're trying to. They had like 800 monsters and that fucking thing, it and was I loved clear it. Clear that they didn't know. Right? Yes. Yeah. And then finally, the creator went into the head of the network and just said, "Look." I, we don't know what the fuck we're doing here. Um, can we just, can we cap this uh, at like two more seasons so we know where we're going and we can have a proper ending for this? And the ending for that sucked. But they knew. They at least knew. Problem is they had 800 storylines to tie up and they just didn't do it over the course of two seasons, which is fucking dumb. They could have killed that Monica girl. Yes. I hated, here's the other thing. Every woman in that show was so their characters, whoever, yeah. they just were so annoying. Boring. Boring and annoying. Um, 
I don't know. I think Mike Judge is kind of like that, but I don't whatever. Know. That's fine. That's how he writes. But they could have killed her. They could have killed the Lori Bream girl. <laughs> killed all the women. Yeah, as the finale, I would have been fine with that. I look. I would have loved to have seen success out of them. To me, you got you know six years of failure. Of failure, but that was the point. That no. was all. That was their whole thing. It was like every time you thought they were going to win, they didn't. So yeah, I would have. I, I would have wanted characters win. Yes, eventually, and especially at the very last one, right? So yeah. I thought, okay, this will this will be it. They'll finally win, but obviously, on brand. I want to go. Here's the thing. I want to go with characters on a redemption storyline where it's like you're going to have ups and downs, and then whatever your downs are, you're going to redeem yourself mm-hmm. or. I want an all-out massacre. Yeah. You wanted all of them to kill themselves? Or, 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 kill or, each di- other. or die, yeah. So oh. the best season finale I ever saw, ever, is Six Feet Under. They told you, and this is not a spoiler because this ended, what, 10 years ago? Yeah, let's calm Maybe down longer. with the spoiler alert. If yeah, it's exactly. that long ago. Uh, Six Feet Under, they not only explained every single thing that was going to happen for the next 30 to 40 years, all the characters died. You know what happened with all of their lives, and you saw them all die. It's amazing. I had no, well, those six I feet had no under, questions, I mean, and I look it's an amazing series, like it's top it, to bottom. Amazing. Nobody yeah, talks yeah. about it really. They don't. It doesn't get the shine the way it should, but because the, there's been so many mm. other, I think, like HBO shows and Sopranos and everything that's come after it, people don't realize that it's one of the first, like, long form drama. That was where really they found good, Dwight Schrute. Remember? Yeah, really good shows like yeah. that. Anyway, but that was the best where it was just like, oh shit! I mean, characters started dying off, and then all of a sudden, boom! You get to the season finale. She's driving away, and then you see every single character that had been in that show, what happened in their life for the next thirty years, how they died, and you were just like, oh my god, dude! Amazing. Uh, Breaking Bad was pretty goddamn good as well. Yeah. Um, where it was just like great. Even the fucking movie with Jesse. Really that good. we just watched of how they tied that up, where it was just really like, good. "What happened to him? Here's what happened to him. Here's what happened to him." And it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, with this, it was a box of turds, man. Yeah, I just watched that for six years. The one that I got boned by the most was How I Met Your Mother. Oh, I never even. So I started gave it that. A chance. I started that because I was hired to write this sitcom. It was very brag. Oh God, stop doing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> So it was three cameras and it was about a group of friends and blah, blah, blah. And uh, same thing, same format, everything. And I wasn't too familiar with that style other than friends. Obviously, I needed to update it. So the only thing that was kind of close relatively was how I met your mother. So I started watching it. I liked it. And I watched that thing till the end. The worst, when they told you who the mother was, was the dumbest. She was fucking dead. Yeah. She was your mother. Well, she died. Yeah. And now there's this other mother, not the character that you loved for 10 years, but this other one. And mm-hmm. then another one after that who died. Mm-hmm. Fuck off. Um, but that's how I felt about this uh, this thing. And like, dude, the, se- the rest of the season was fun. You know? This. Um, oh, Silicon Valley? Yeah. yeah. But they weren't. It was fun in a, in a sense of like the other seasons were fun, but they weren't prepping for a series finale. No, it was really like. It felt like a normal, normal season, and then all yeah. of a sudden they had to do a season finale. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it didn't feel like they were. You're right, preparing you in any way. So, yeah, disappointed last night. It sucks. Game of Thrones, man. Same thing. People were so angry. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Again. Yeah, but. You have all this time to figure it out. I don't understand. I'd love just to have one show creator and just sit down and talk to them about it. Mad Men, dude. Mad Men pissed me off. That's right. The fucking Coca-Cola but ad. It They did, it seems, put a lot of thought into it. It just wasn't what a lot of people wanted. No, dude. So <sighs> It would have been so easy. To I know just, my dad loved that show. He watched it. He loved what the was ending. His, oh, he did. Because that ad, I think, for him mm-hmm. in that generation was so iconic. Yeah. yeah, and so pivotal that you go like, "Oh, cool!" Like it, it, it had all the things that 
that um, he wanted. I wanted to see him fall off that roof just like in the opening. Totally. That would have been the best ever. Hey, man, you're out of touch. We're, put, we're putting younger people in. you got to fall off the roof of that house. That would have been the greatest thing of all time. Or that the building. You know, he jumps off the building. Yeah, and because that was the beginning of the whole time, remember? Right? Uh-huh. The intro was a animated guy jumping off yeah. the thing. And you go, yeah, I mean, that's obviously going to be the end, right? I didn't get it. We didn't, didn't get, get it, it James. But yeah, I feel, I don't know, pissed, man. We invested so much time into that goddamn thing. We did. It's a long time. It was, but I mean, you know, we had a lot of fun. Did we? We had a lot of good memories with that <laughs> show. That middle least, ditch guy is really, really fucking funny. It's, he's, he's crazy talented. That whole cast is talented. Really talented. Um, and I'm sure he'll go on to do, I could see that Maybe, guy Maybe, I don't know. Uh, not a, like a Big Bang Theory type of show that lasts for a thousand years. Yeah, I mean, you just have to put him in the... I think the right place that he can, do he cannot do everything, yeah. but I think this one thing he can do really good. I think he'll do it. Yeah. And he's a, he's super weird too in real life. His interviews are really fucking weird. Yeah. He's cool. <laughs> anyway, I, I don't know. Whatever. I, uh, I had fun. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, look, should we get it? We get the sponsors. We keep just chatting away. You and me, Jabes. <sighs> Thinking about ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Get yourself a mattress today. Do yourself a favor. They got a Christmas deal. It's Christ- a holiday deal. Christmas. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You can't say just Christmas anymore. You got to say holiday deal. Mm. You got Chinaka and Kwanzaa and all that shit. Who? What? What? What Hanukkah? was the first one? Oh, okay. Chinox. Chinaka. Chinox. Chinox and Kwans. Kwans. I feel like I'm going through puberty again. Yeah, why? My voice is cracking here and there. You know what I'm going to say. What's that? <laughs> I'm not allowed to say it, I guess. Brag. So. Brag. <laughs> <laughs> You're going through puberty, brag. Okay, uh, go ahead. Oh, boy, Chaves. What? I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm getting pubes. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting hair down there. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Get to ghostbed.com forward slash stringing bros today and uh, put your hair on the on a mattress. That's mm. right. No cover. Live dangerously. Put your pubes right on the mattress. No sheets, no Gosh. nothing. Lay it down. That will make a lot of people soups uncomfortable to yeah. even hear that. Uh, you get half off uh, adjustable base right now for the holidays yes. special mm-hmm. for all the 30,000 holidays you represent. Indigenous Chinox. Santa. Yeah, Chinox, Indigenous Santa Day. You know? Genderless Santa yeah. Day. <laughs> <laughs> he comes down in an all silver suit, anatomically correct or incorrect. It's got Whatever. no, no Just androgynous. Fronts. Yeah. It's just like, is it a big lady? He's real is it a sexy. big man? It's a Bowie Santa. We don't Santa. know. Yeah. It's just a David Bowie Santa. Mm-hmm. A sliding, larger. Yep. Greased up, sliding down the chimney. Just blowing PCP in your face. <laughs> oh, must be Santa. What must be Santa? And he just throws a strap on underneath the Christmas tree. What the fuck? It's for a man or a woman. You know? <laughs> this, okay. Must be Santa. Ooh, must be, be Santa. Santa. <laughs> boom, boom. Must be <laughs> Santa. Santa <laughs> Claus. <laughs> hey, hey, Mom. What's underneath the tree? Well, that's Santa's strap on. You know? Pick a gender. It's good for both. Is that for mom or dad? It could be for both. Moms and dads. <laughs> Best read of ghostbed.com. They <laughs> four slash stringer bros. They ever. have to love it. <laughs> or else did they re up? We're not sure. Look. They're on until next year. Oh, okay. Well, clearly they love it. There's nothing they can do, brother. <laughs> hey, brother. Well, that's how, here's the deal, though. How, that's how good the beds are. Yeah. That we kind of like <laughs> can say whatever. Yeah. yeah during the ad. Because you know that if anyone has one, you know it's amazing. They're sleeping like a saint. 
And then just keep replacing the beds in your house. Yeah, exactly. When is the dog bed coming out? Do you know? I don't know, but I, I imagine that's got to be It soon. has to. Right? Because I've heard like all the humans in my house sleep on ghost beds, right? Yep. But you want to be able to say everyone in my house. Dogs so I think included, so, yeah. I think soon. I think soon. You get a little strap on bed too. For your a what? Your strap on to sleep in. Bless you. Uh, a nice little strap on dildo? Bed. For, for the bed? No, just a little tiny bed for the dildo. 13 inches. You know, you just pop it on there. Sleep tight. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so we're good on this one. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> Boom, 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 shablanker. Great stocking stuffer. Look, man, throw a fucking 10 pack right in their, their stocking. Right here. Boom. 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle. No carbs, no sugars. This will get you going through the holidays. <laughs> um, big deals over there. Big, big deals. 20% off with, with Revolution and uh, promo code. Subscribe. They get a subscription, um, and they have four amazing flavors. So you can fill up everybody's stocking with these goddamn things: lemon, orange, ridge, grop. Grop is my favorite. You know I love a grop. <laughs> Jabs. Why are you Swedish and all I, these? I love a grop. Yeah. Uh, I love Strike Force, man. Um, lasts longer than five hour energy. No carbs, no sugars. It keep you slim. Keep oh, you yes. trim. Oh yes. Keep that beaver mode up. Oh, wow. Uh, go to strikeforceenergy.com today and join up. Revolution, promo code, 20% off. Uh, that Look, it'll go great in the stockings. Uh, last but not least, we got straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you la- Oh, no. <laughs> Did you change it for what? Christmas? I don't know what happened, you guys. Did you change the impeachment it for Christmas? got me all messed up. Jumbled I'm up inside. I'm real concerned <clears throat> about these impeachment inquiries. Did you jumble that up for Christmas? <laughs> because we've got we're celebrating 80 holidays now. Sure, yeah. That's what it is. Oh, you like it? Man. Oh my gosh. You know, I've just got a lot on my mind. Yeah. And uh, Asians are the last thing that I'm... Yeah, and apparently not the Chinese New Year either. Thinking about, so, yeah, Lunar when is New that? Year. When is that, by the way? Everybody knows... Alex, do you know when the Chinese New Year that is? that is in Why don't you look that up? Why don't you uh, Google that? Um, it's probably in Chinese March. Chinese New Year? They're always three months ahead of us. The Lunar... You're a Lunar. Um, lunar who knows, New man? Year. January 25th. Jamie found it first. That's the... Yeah. Um, look, Chinese New Year's coming up. Shave. Shave yourself. Um, have a have a shaving New Year, you know? They get products for men. Are we going to go clean shaven for New Year's? Horses. Me? Mm-hmm. Probably not. Everywhere? Oh. Uh, me? Yeah. Yeah. I'll go full fulcrum. Brag. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you mean full? Fulcrum, everything. So everything. Every, every inch. Balls, yep. perineum, yep. butthole. Per, I think it's perineum, right? No, it's perineum. Is it really? We maybe got it wrong the last time, but Who it is perineum. Knows? I'm not a speech pathologist. You're not a gooch expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, even though you say you are sometimes. I, I barely see my own, you know? Ooh, I'm seeing tracers over here. Um, Do you say you. Santa sleigh coming right mm-hmm. by here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You ever feel that, that sometimes somebody puts something in your drink? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm feeling that now. Well. I'm feeling that right now. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Did I drink CBD? Like, what happened is what I, I look. Either way, we're, you're getting the best show of your lives out there. You're welcome. Uh, as a man or a woman, you can use these shaving products. Sure. Dwarf bushes, all of it. Mm-hmm. You go to uh, get a kit for Christmas. Put it in a stocking for a loved one. It's the right thing to do, guys. Yep. It really is. Because it is really hard, I'm sorry, to shop for dudes. Yeah. Like clothes, you guys never No. You want to do that yourself. Yeah, yeah. Or you yeah. want your mom to do it. 
Um, and then, <laughs> you know, everything else, it's like you guys get what you want when you want to get it. Oh, yeah. But a nice shaving kit is something that you won't think of, but you will love. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I hate Verizon. I just want to say that right now. All right. And the next story? Straightrazor.com. <laughs> Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. I hate Verizon. What happened? I'm just going to go ahead and say that out loud. What happened? You know, you get these fucking emails of like, hey, we're going to pork up your fees. And it's just like, man, <laughs> don't. Did they say pork up? Yeah, we're about to pork up your fees here, bud. <laughs> Hold on to your cellular device. You're getting porked. we throwing an extra 40 bucks on your bill. And it's like... No, you're not, dude. And I play this dance. I've been going through this dance with them for 20 <laughs> years. I'll just switch over to AT&T. Yeah, exactly. Get my $800. Sure. Turn in my phones. Sure. Tell them to fuck right off. Right. And then two years after that, I, I come right back, back to in. Verizon. Tail between your legs. Nope. Penis right in butt. <laughs> penis, penis in their butt? Right in butt. Nope, my own. In your own butt. Just... Uh, is that the equivalent of tail between uh, your? Yeah, do you can I have the iPhone 13, please, or whatever it's going to be by then in sure. two years. Can I think you, it'll be like Roman numerals. Probably. Can I get the iPhone uh, IXV? Can I get that, please? Oh, sir, can you fucking? And it's going to be a, a cover on the back of just the the Roman ruins on it, you know. And can I the iPhone XIVV, please, or whatever their new shit box of a phone is going to sure. be um sure. god damn it i want the razor and i i'm not going to let it go i'm going to get the new iphone oh uh, with the three bullshits on it this fucking pictures are i know our producer jamie's got one and uh they're good man they're I mean, good alec do you have one uh just the regular one right yeah same here this one this one was a big enough piece of shit for me that i'm, I'm all done with them Breck. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm definitely getting one though. I'm not. Um, I know you aren't. You need one because it like two features work on yours. Yeah, the my letter camera Q, doesn't work. The letter Q I know I can and only, Instagram is the only thing that works on yours. I know I can only text people Q, and if you know me, you know what that means. Yeah, exactly. Q non. <laughs> You're in a big in conspiracies. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the letter Q and Instagram works for you, mm -hmm. and then half a phone number you can get yeah i think you can get area codes only typed in but that's about it mm -hmm. so yeah you should get a new one yeah actually we should consult with verizon here and see how much time we have left on this bullshit and then i can just move this account over to at&t well i don't okay you know what i'm saying yeah that'd be great that would be great um we can I, probably deal with that kind of stuff off air. i can hop on over to that razor are you, know? you gonna do it I would I would love to. How do you I, can you get Dropbox on there? Oh no, that's right. They only have two hundred fifty six gigs. I'm fucked. No, I'm stuck with this piece of shit, and I'm not upgrading. I'm not doing it anymore. Okay. The next upgrade you will see me get is uh, is the Razor, and then you'll know that I'm super rich. And we will start the phone off. I mean, start the show off with me on the phone, and then be like, oh, gotta go. I'm doing a show. Click. I'll clip it shut, mm -hmm. and then just everybody be like, "Oh shit, he made it!" Yeah, clip, clip, click, whatever. Yeah, no, clip, little clip, I'm, click. I'm clip it to my shirt. Just go yeah, right, right in half. Have, boom. You can, can you have an out an outside clip, please? Get an outside leather. clip. Oh yeah, patent leather. Mm. Whew. Whew. Um, but yeah, we're all. Chooch. I just got another email from Verizon. I'm just like, you're like, save it, man. Shut up, bro. And and you know what else really dumps my grump on these these emails from these companies is the our terms of use have changed oh dumps have they my grump yeah it really dumps on my grump you know you're just like <laughs> god damn it man you are so stupid <laughs> it is carry on uh your, your grump is another name for your your chode obviously i thought it was your grump poop. grendel no now you if you dump on the grump that's when you're you know <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This really dumps on my grump, this thing's. We our terms of uh, when use have changed. Okay. Your, your policy changed. Um, okay. Now, what you can do is read this 60-page um, uh, form that's all in Braille, and um, 
Now, basically, what it's going to say is we're taking away all your privacy. We're going to listen to you fuck your wife and uh, shave right. your dog and everything exactly. else. That is all these fucking things tell you. Um, same with Verizon and everything else. I know you're listening. Yeah. And I don't Verizon. care. Verizon. I've stopped saying all the words that I should be saying. And What do you mean? And I, I'm, I just words in life that you shouldn't be saying. I've oh. stopped saying them out loud. Okay. Now I just whisper them. Oh, yes, of course. Because it's harder. It's harder for the TV to hear the microwave mm-hmm, or mm-hmm, all that mm-hmm. bullshit. Yeah, we're just like, <laughs> we haven't. Yeah. Yeah. So now I just whisper the words that I shouldn't say. Okay. Um, I'll let you guess along at home what those are. <laughs> Usually it's dump on my grump. Yeah, dump on my grump. Just stuff like that. Nothing yeah, yeah. bad. No, nothing terrible. Nothing terrible. Nothing terrible. Nothing horrible. No. I never say anything about cab drivers. Would never. Can't. Can't do it. Can't today's Won't society. Won't do it. Whisper it only. <laughs> I did watch, uh, we're fans of uh, Tom Segura and those guys. Mm-hmm. They, he did a show with one of his buddies, I forget, a comedian, where he was just like, man, all I want to do is get a parrot and then teach it racial slurs. <laughs> and that's it. So like, no matter what, that's you go in the house and then there's, there's this yeah, fucking parrot yeah, and you're yeah. like, well, sorry, it's not me. It's the parrot. It's obviously not me. Yeah. It's the parrot saying this. Nothing. They're I really do. smart. They're really <laughs> smart animals. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to get into this uh, stupid ass fucking Golden Globes controversy that's going on. I, we touched on it briefly that there was not a female director nominated. Yeah. And I talked about it and said there wasn't one worthy of it. Now the the cast of Little Women was oh they're on everywhere today and they're like I can't believe Greta Gerwig didn't get nominated. Yeah. Well, she remade the same fucking movie for the 80th time. So yeah. for what? What are we nominating you for? What is it? What did you do that was so goddamn special? Because I'm going to be realsies with you. When you said when you told me about the Little Women with Bale, we were good after that. Have you not seen it? Yeah, I have. Okay, it's a Christmas classic. But I classic, forget, but it was, there's 90 Little Women movies, for real. Was that the one with Winona Ryder? Yeah, that's the only other one. No. And that's the one that she's doing shot for shot, basically. So? Um, so, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, do we get nominated for remakes? Straight remakes? I don't think so. I don't either. I like, it, has uh, that ever happened? Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, A Star is Born, me. I don't, he didn't get nominated. Yeah. Bradley Cooper, no, not for Best Director. Maybe that was why. Because we were like, what the fuck? Are you kidding? Yeah, B Coops wasn't nominated for that. That must be why, right? Hear me something, it's just not, girl. It, you can't. It has to be. There's enough original work Shit. out there, yeah. obviously. Um, but there was one that was a female director. <clears throat> but I was kind of confused that it wasn't nominated but the marriage story one no that's noah bombach oh um it's one that you wouldn't think is a female director uh one of the movies that are that is tubman? nominated no is it harriet tubman no you know i can't wait to see tubman yeah when is when can we see it i'm joking it's out i have no desire to see that though. oh my no. gosh why not are you serious every year at christmas they put out a slave movie this has been going on we for went to years s- and years and years. The last one we felt so uncomfortable at. It was Twelve Years a Slave. We did. Do you remember that? that? Yeah. And a sold yeah. out theater. Just a bunch of white people feeling shitty about themselves. No, you're That's right. That's what we did. Remember, we looked around. We were just like, oh god, it just kept getting worse. Um, a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood is a woman director. Oh. So it was kind of like a B day in the end. But look, look, and farewell. The farewell I heard was really, really good. Listen, but here's we said this already. The Oscars is going to make up for all of this shit because the Oscars hears you. Whereas the Golden Globes, as pure as pure as it is, yeah, is a bunch of foreign people, right? A smaller group that really just watches movies for the content. They're not thinking about the directors. They're not thinking about who. It is, and they're not trying to be PC. So famously, the Globes have always been sort of what helps the Oscars know what they should pick, and they do. Stupid. Right? Yeah. Uh, but uh, to, to hear this cast bitch about it, it's like, dude. I know. It's a shot-for-shot shot remake. What, what the fuck do I care? 
they had someone else that was doing that would be like me saying dude i want i want to sell my paint by numbers of of the mona lisa for the same amount as the mona lisa because well because i did it you know i just redid it and i think mine looks the same yeah no it's not it was already fucking done dude move on with your life and congrats just take the paycheck and leave now what i hope happens with that movie because it comes out on christmas is that it fucking bombs that I hope the little women little bombs. Women bombs. Um, because who's gonna go see that again? After when was that? When was the Bale, Winona Ryder one? Oh my God! Probably fifteen years ago. Pro- more than that. I'm gonna feel really old because I. It might be nineties. Actually, loved it. Yeah. Um, they give, it were, a, give it a peek, sees. I will. It might be nineties. Ninety four. Yeah. Ninety four. Yeah. So twenty five years, huh? Yeah. So, you know. What do you think they forgot in 25 years? Yeah, Who's because your demo that for this movie, movie, like, I still watch that movie on Christmas. Like, for the nostalgia. Who's your demo of it? for that? I don't know. Weird, right? Right? Because I would be the demo, right? But I want to watch the other one. Like, yeah. I would rather watch the old one, like, around the holidays or whatever. Because, like I said, it doesn't look like there's any weird spin at all. Right. There's a different cast, but it looks, I mean, like I said, Color wise, shot for shot, it looks the same. So, you know, there's a couple ways to think of it. I mean, it it is shitty. I don't I, I don't want to say like shut up and take your paycheck. It is a little jarring to be like, dang, everyone. But I think I'm just of the generation that's used to it. <laughs> I, look, just do something spectacular and make a fucking original movie. Yeah, and I think, you know, if you do get nominated in the Golden Globes, which I'm sure next year maybe, you know, the more I want women out- directors there are, the more they will be in the in the field and in the pool. Right now, there is very few, so those few women directors have to go so far above and beyond. To I, I want to peep uh, out uh, anyway. uh, Booksmart. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. Um, I haven't seen it. It wasn't in theaters very long. Didn't do very well. I know we we planned to, but uh, I want to check that one out. People love it, and it was critically acclaimed, so I I don't know. Um, And then I want to give an update on uh, Juice World. Oh, boy. Yeah. War came out. This story keeps getting worse and worse. Uh, We came to the revolutionary figure of the day, which he he was. Um, Also might be revolutionary for uh, what what happened to him. Um, So... Leaves L.A., goes sure. to Chicago. Sure. Lands, the pilot had called the feds and said, hey, man, there's guns and drugs on this private plane. You should probably check this out. Right. Uh, guns in particular is a big no-no. Sure. Drugs, whatever, right? Right. Come on. No, I mean, look. Victimless crime. Yes, yes, no. And... Uh, was it seventy pounds of weed? Sure, it was, but they that didn't know that. Real victim because it was crime, in. Though. It was in. Find me the weed thing, victim in luggage, and it was vacuum sealed. Yeah, so you couldn't good. really smell that yeah, shit. You're good. Um, now here's what happens: is he's got a bunch of Percocets. I got uh, seven bottles of syrup, which now those are going to go to waste. Such a Once shame. You, uh, the real tragedy of the... Send those over here, Chicago PD. Mm-hmm. Um, that's hard to get. Uh, sure he takes get right all the Percocets mm-hmm. as they're searching the plane. Mm-hmm. And he fucking ODs, goes into a seizure, and then dies right there. One of the feds who was searching the plane on the scene, he had Narcan on him. And so he you know, yeah. jabbed him twice with that. He was back to life for about 40 minutes, I guess. But he was bleeding out of his nose and some other shit. And uh, and they, they rushed him to the hospital. And oh, that's where he crazy died. How crazy is that Narcan stuff? He like. fucking OD'd when a f- the feds were searching the plane and he took all the pills. How crazy is that story? How crazy is that? Um, one, two, his two buddies who he was with, I guess they were bodyguards. And they took the rap for the gun charges, so... At that point, man, would you rather die or go to jail, I guess? Again, those pills and are hard to get. you pay a fine. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. They right? wouldn't really take you to jail. Um, so now Chicago PD has said the case is, uh, 
It's taken over the case of the seized marijuana. Um, they have possession of the stash and, and will now handle that part of the investigation. The FBI and the CPD have, uh, it's obviously the Chicago police, have jurisdiction at the Midway Airport. Um, but we're told the FBI is referring this one to the locals. Uh, translation on that, the feds were like, hey, man, we don't really give a shit about a rapper with weed. Dead serious. Yeah. Um, two guns, a bunch of weed, and seven bottles of syrup. And then the pills are already gone, so. Right. Um, so they're going to do a uh, uh, an autopsy on him to confirm this, but I, I guess his friends already said this is what he did. Um, the other thing that was weird is on a private jet uh, in November, they were alerted to the same thing. And he got off the plane, and it turned out they were clean on that one, mm-hmm. or, or they had gotten rid of mm. whatever the fuck was on the plane. Mm-hmm. If that had happened to you in November, and now you're, you're hopping on another private jet in December. Are we going to learn? Oof. And like for, for those th- that are curious of like, hey, man, how much does it cost for a private jet? It's about 50 grand from uh, L.A. to Chicago. So you could get one. It's, a fi- it's 50 grand if you're fucking rich, you know. Is it 50? It's about 50. Hmm. Um, it's, it all, it's about gasoline at that point. Right. Uh, there's cheaper options, but right. it depends on what you want and what time you get it and reserve right. it and all that right. other shit. Like right. if you're leaving this late at one in the morning or whatever it is, like, eh. Yeah, man, uh, it's, that's going to bump you up a little bit. You got to find a pilot in the middle of the night. Sure. Um, but with that, the fucking pilot, bro, it's a rapper. Pretty famous. It's it's him and a couple of his buddies. What do you give a shit if there's guns and drugs in the plane for? Yeah. What do, you, what do you care? I wonder what he's thinking now with all of this now that it's, it's shaken out of like, oh, shit. Because they have audio. Of him calling the feds, mm-hmm. you know, on the mm-hmm. uh, right. We a, hey, we got some weed, uh, weed and some guns, hey, here, guys. drugs and guns. Hey, this is Dork Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> what are you nerd doing? Nerd alert! Hello, nerd alert! Yeah. <laughs> so you, this fucking narc, yeah. calls the feds <laughs> and says, "Hey, when when I land, get ready because there's a rapper and two of his bodyguards, and With they have weed and syrup weed, on them. Syrup and guns." Dude just signed a fucking $3 million deal. Like, come on, man. Give him a break, brah. For weed and guns? Who gives a shit? Yeah. And if there is bodyguards, yeah, they're going to have guns on them. Yeah. Are they registered? Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Who gives a shit? Now, this kid is dead. Sure. Because you want to be a fucking narc, dude. I mean, look, we're not going to put all the, the... He did what he did. I'm going to put the blame on him. Okay. I usually put the blame on people that, like, you know... Guns and drugs? Well, for he, a rapper? And he took a bunch of Percocets. Like, that was a really dumb thing. It was dumb for him to do, but, you know, dude, you roll in. Because what, here's what happened for him. They rolled into the hangar, and all the feds were waiting for him. So imagine looking out the window. You're pulling in at 1.30 in the morning to, to Chicago O'Hare, going to the hangar. It's just fucking feds everywhere. Yeah, uh, but. Yeah. What do you do? Prove they were yours. If your name isn't on the script. Uh, yeah. Prove their mind. And not only that, those bodyguards would have taken that bid. They took the Prove gun they're charges. they any of ours. They were here anyway. They were yeah. here. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't so matter. it's a shitty fucking story, man. And it just, you know, it started off yesterday where it was just super tragic. And yeah. Like, oh, my God. And what like, happened? Oh, my gosh. She just like had a seizure. Like this walked off the plane, crazy, had a seizure, man. and then more comes out. So. I mean, that that is absolutely fucking crazy to me. Um, last but not least here before we wrap this up, Bill Cosby lost an appeal uh, due to a unique due to sexual assault playbook. So, yeah, due to the fact that he was due raping to, girls. He's just guilty and I don't even know why he's appealing. You know he doesn't care, right? About? Um, he thinks it was an injustice to him. And, oh, yeah. Uh, he will never. He's living like a king, he says, in his jail cell. So. He's going down. He's going to die saying that. He didn't do it, and all these people are against him. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. He will never, like, go the road of, like, admitting and saying I'm sorry or anything like this. Yeah. He's going to say these 30 to 50 women are out to get me. <laughs> no money. Statute of limitations completely done. 
There's only one that can get through, but they're all out to get you and they're all lying. You piece of shit. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, we'll get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. Uh, when you were sleeping last night, a weird story popped up. Uh, Nick Cannon released a diss track against Eminem. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna go ahead and give this revolutionary figure of the day to Eminem simply because for the he's fact. Just sitting there laughing at his house right now, just laughing his ass off. I, I heard it. It's absolutely terrible. It's horrible. Nick Nick Cannon can't Sucks. rap. Has uh, very little talent. Sucks as a human. Um, but he he brought his his wife and his daughter into it. Which, if this was 2001, sure. Look up Haley. Look up the look. You know how we always talked about his daughter yeah. Haley. She's like 22. She's about to graduate college now, I think. Yeah. Uh, on like a volleyball scholarship or something crazy. Like, we're like done with. Nick. Yeah. We're kind of hey, done with. Hey, all. bro. That was. 2001 might have been the right time to bring that up when Eminem Hey, was, Nick. 2001 called. Yeah. <laughs> they want their diss track back. <laughs> hey, Jesse. 2000 called. They want their joke back. Yeah. Um, but the best comment I read, because no, you don't, you just don't go after Eminem too People have done it now. Yeah. It did not work out well for MGK. You know? Yeah. I mean, it worked out horribly for him. Um, oh, yeah. If this, if, if, if Eminem decides to put a track out, Oof. going after Mariah Carey and, and all that shit, his life will end. Um, rest in peace. Nick Cannon has been trending on Twitter all day. Basically. But also, does he even give him the satisfaction? I mean... To me, the biggest diss is Eminem just like not even responding Maybe. to this little. Or just to do it, just to do it at this turban point. If you don't have an album coming weirdo. out, you can spend guess, a week on it. But like engaging, it really is like engaging with a dumb Twitter loser for Eminem. Yeah. I'm sorry. But like the, the level that they're both at just in life <sighs> and in general. I think Nick Cannon's actually got a lot of followers. Because um, he, he hosts Lord all that knows bullshit. Why. I don't, dude, I don't know. I hate that motherfucker. He's such. He, I don't. I don't like him either. Um, I don't like him either. But anyway. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, the the best because Fifty Cent got involved in this. Obviously, he's the it. best troll of all time. Love it. And he's like, I don't understand why the life of me someone would pick a fight with Eminem. He's a different kind of animal. Like you, this is a guy you just do not fuck with in this realm. Yeah. And I agree. I would say he's probably the best to ever do it in that sense and somebody on twitter had the, the funniest comment about it last night they were like hey nick did you not see an entire two-hour movie about a guy making a diss track because if not it's it's, it's called eight mile it's called it's, eight mile it's eminem it and it is look-see. literally his life um so you should probably not do this well it's done so uh nick cannon rest in peace if if eminem I don't, that's a big if though. He just struggles so hard to be cool. Like he struggles so hard. That's weird, man. It's a struggle for Nick Cannon. He thinks he's sweet. I worked, I, I did a fucking show with him, man. I'm sure he thinks he's sweet. Um, strange, strange. Uh, either way, man, it's a strange. Did you say you did a show with him? I did, yeah. Brag. Um, yeah, not, so. no, no, <laughs> not at joking. all. I'm joking. I said to get one last one in. No, I did a we. sketch show. Um, <laughs> Yeah, either way, I, his office was next to mine, too, for my other show. And it was just like, God damn it. If there was a motherfucker who thought he was the, the sweetest dick on the planet, it was that guy. Um, and uh, anywho, he married wealthy after his shit went down. Smart. Yes, Mariah Carey was a great move. Yep. And he got divorced from her. Bad move. And now he's wearing turbans everywhere. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm all done Beard with Nick glasses. Cannon in this yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We're all done with Nick Cannon forever. R.I.P. Nick Cannon. Yeah, R.I.P. Nick Cannon. Let's send it on that, Jabes. Perfect. Let's send, send it on a positive. Perfect. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. the Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. Brag. This is The Revolution. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs>